Good afternoon and welcome to Santander Asset Management's latest podcast. I'm joined by Stefano Abato, the head of our tactical asset allocation and alpha. Good afternoon, Stefano. Good afternoon. Stefano, the subject for today's podcast is around fixed income, bond assets. And my first question for you today is, central banks have signposted to raise interest rates to curb inflation. Do you actually think that they will stay the course? It's a great question. It is very much on you know, investors' minds. I think the short answer is yes, actually. There is a, an expectation based on you know, what has happened over the last you know, 10 to 15 years that whenever markets suffer, central bankers step in and change their rhetoric and uh, quote-unquote come to the rescue of investors. I think this time is actually different. If you look, you know, just to pick one example, if you look at the latest data prints in the UK, we have inflation at 9%, which is a 40-year high. So I simply don't think they have a choice in terms of, you know, can they follow through with the projected interest rates? It's possible that if there is a lot of pain markets, they might slow down to some extent. But I do think that for the time being, we should believe what the market is pricing and therefore a protracted cycle of interest rate increases. Fantastic. Thanks, Stefano. Bond yields uh, appear to have flattened in the last two to three weeks as the rising yield slows. Is there a specific reason, do you think, behind this? Yes, I think there is. From, from our vantage point, we think that investors are trying to assign probabilities to three potential scenarios. One is the so-called soft lending, whereby central banks increase interest rates to some extent but without destroying too much demand. And therefore, the economy might slow down a little bit, but keep growing when inflation comes down gradually to more acceptable levels. The second scenario is a recession whereby central bankers increase rates by too much, destroy too much, quote unquote, demand, and therefore that creates a recession. And the third scenario is one of stagflation. So where you get the worst of both wars, you get a shrinkage in the economy and you get persistently high inflation. I think what has happened with bond yields, uh, essentially, is if you look at the 10-year part of the curve, it stopped going up over the last couple of weeks. I think that's a sign that concerns about the potential inflation have increased. And therefore, we're seeing that the part of the yield curve that moves uh, moves the most is the short end, which is more sensitive to changes in interest rate policy. Fantastic. Given how bond yields have risen so much in the last 12 months or so, How have you and the rest of the investment team positioned client portfolios to mitigate the increase? So we have been underweight bonds for a number of months. That has proven to be the right stance. I will say we have seen a fairly severe decline in bond prices. So therefore, owning less than normal, quote unquote, less than our neutral positioning, proved to add value to the performance of the portfolios. I think we retain a similar stance we might decrease the size of the underweight slightly because we are seeing that, again, rates around the 10-year tenor have started to stabilize. So there might be a little bit of value there if we think that we are going to encounter a recessionary scenario. We're still doing our work on that front. We don't have high conviction yet. So for the time being, we remain underweight or non-bonds overall. But nonetheless, it's something that we are actively revisiting. Fantastic, Stefano. Thanks very much for uh, your views and insights in the latest podcast. Thanks for listening. The views expressed in this podcast are the views of Santander Asset Management UK and do not constitute individual or financial advice. If you want to explore more of our views and insights, please visit our website at santanderassetmanagement.co.uk. If you do require advice, we would recommend you contact your professional financial advisor. Thanks again for uh, tuning into our latest podcast. We look forward to speaking to you again soon.